Hello guys, so I need to control a servo and I had this little servo testing well, servo testing device basically it just generated a signal and it fed it to three headers there so that little thing was in there and we had a little control knob on it this little switch selected between actually I don't know what it's selected between because they're all getting the the same signal anyway so maybe there was different modes I, I can't really remember but the uh, issue I'm having at the minute is that this is not sending any signal to our uh, to our servos so if I hook it up here I have a servo and we have to provide power on this side so it's 5 volts and our signal which way is it this way around so ground is to the top so I have it hooked up there you can see the LEDs here if I push the button nothing's happening rotate the potentiometer nothing's happening so you can see it's it's doing nothing so I thought maybe I'd try and uh, diagnose that see what might be wrong I've drawn uh, my circuit here and basically there's just the one chip in this it has a single output that goes to all three of the servo connections so they're all the, the same basically just have the resistors on it we have the potentiometer here going in as an input and that is just measuring the voltage as we vary the potentiometer it gets the power through this diode at the top and it has a ground connection over here and then there's your three diodes going out three outputs on the other side so it was pretty simple there's not much to it so first thing I guess we can check is if we're getting power across the chip So that would be if we give it power here and according to my drone we should have a positive on the top left and negative on the bottom right or on the top right. So the volts here. So we have our 5 volts there, so that makes sense. The next thing then we can test is, are we actually generating an output signal? We can probably be fairly certain we're not because the LEDs aren't lit. So it's not even sending, it's not even turning on the output for that. So it's unlikely that we have any signal here. So if you watch the oscilloscope up there. If I go to the power rail, we have 4.96 volts was going to the servo power. On the signal line, there's nothing, there's just noise. So nothing happening on those lines. If we take a look at the chip side of it, so, yeah, so before these resistors, it's straight signal, so if I connect to the resistors here, we're not getting nothing there either, that's just noise. So we've no signal coming from anything there. We know our diode's working because we're getting the 5 volts on this side. So the chip is getting the 5 volts. So that means our diode isn't faulty. Although we could check that, just to show you how to do that. So you get your multimeter into diode mode. And when you put the uh, the connectors, actually this. So if it's a short circuit, you get a beep. If you put the connectors across the diode in one direction, you should get 0.6 volts. Or in the other direction, you should get uh, you should get that just a one so that means that there's no connection basically or an infinite uh, resistance 
which is what you would expect current shouldn't be flowing in one direction with the diode and on the other way okay uh, for a silicone diode it's about 0.6 or on this meter it'll be 600 but for uh, I think it's germanium diodes it's like 0.3 or around 300 you should be seeing so I, I think that's uh, that looks okay but we know it's okay anyway because the we were getting our 5 volts to our uh, chip so at the minute it looks like uh, the processor is just not working um, I don't know what happened maybe it just failed I presume it's the cheapest of the cheap uh, microcontrollers that goes into these things probably like maybe chips that weren't good enough to go as primary uh, to the primary uh, manufacturers for high-end products so i would guess you get the very cheapest of the cheap into these sort of uh, things i mean this probably cost two dollars or something like that it's probably nearly nothing and there's kind of nothing i can do about that um well i can try i'll try heating up the contacts on the chip but i wouldn't have much faith in that what i think i'll end up doing is replacing this uh, microcontroller with something else and when i do that i think i will give these individual controls on these three servo outputs rather than having one uh, signal going to all three servos i'll give it individual control of each servo i think that might be that might be more useful so looks like that's not working we're gonna have to do a bit of a repair on that but that was just uh, an example of how you can kind of diagnose these things. You want to, first of all, if it's not working, take a look at the PCB, see can you draw some sort of sketch so that you understand what pins you need to uh, test and how you need to test them. Then you probably look for things like uh, that diode. If the diode had failed, um, we wouldn't be getting power to the microchip. If a capacitor had blown and short circuited we'd have a really high current reading here and I guess if a, a connection had broken somewhere more than likely we would have say the LEDs working but no signal to the outlet so you'd be able to figure it out that way but because we have four outputs here basically and nothing's happening on any of them it's highly unlikely that it's just a contact it's most likely that there's something wrong with the processor maybe i connected too high of a voltage to this at some stage and didn't realize it so i might have fried the chip because there's no uh, there's no real protection on the uh, pcb here there's no voltage regulator or any, anything like that so you just have to stick to the five volts i guess um, it could be possible that i but uh, 7.4 volts maybe i connected a, a 2s battery to it by accident or something like that but i can't remember doing that so i can't say for sure so i'll try resoldering the connections don't think it's going to work but uh, one way or the other i'll either replace the chip and get it working some other way so that's uh, how i would diagnose something like that just thought i'd share that with you while i was doing it so thanks very much for watching